Hi everyone, this is Katerina Verstakos from strategicinternetmarketingassociates.com and I'm going to give you a brief tutorial on how to design your website and deal with your content in a way that is search engine friendly. Now, most people think of an idea and they build a website. They pick a domain name and they think it's cute and then they wonder why nobody ever shows up. Well, when you're going to be putting a product out there, you need to think about whether there's actually a need for this product, whether people are actually searching for the product and exactly what they're searching for. Now, there are some really quick ways to find this out. WordTracker.com has a free trial. It's a one-day trial where you can go in and type in the keywords that you think people are looking for. It will then go in and analyze those keywords and tell you how many people have searched for it and the exact keywords they're searching for so that you know exactly what to use in your content and in your articles and everything else that you're using to promote your site. Now, you're going to take your main keyword that people are searching for and you're going to put it in your domain name. It's very important to do this. Some people get away with just using pay-per-click advertising and if you're just going to be doing that, fine. But if you're looking for uh, a way to get yourself ranked higher in Google and the other search engines, you really do need to have your main keyword in your domain name. You also need it in your title tag and in your description tag and in your keyword tag. And these, if you don't know what that is, it's the code behind your website. Um, if you have Dreamweaver, there should be a very easy way to get to that um, through the toolbar. So you go in there and you'll click on the button and it'll say fill in the keywords and your description and it'll do it for you. But it's very important that you have it in your domain name, in your title tag, in your description tag, and in your keyword tag. You also want it throughout the content on your site. So what you're going to want it is it in a um, in a, a heading tag, which would be your uh, H1 to H4 tag. You're going to want it in your content. You're going to want it in your first paragraph and in your last paragraph. And you're also going to want to sprinkle in some of your other main keywords. So um, if you want to check to see if you're doing this correctly, you would upload the page. And then there's a lot of free keyword density tools online. So just type into Google free keyword density tool. And it will go in and it will analyze your page and tell you whether you have the optimal amount of keywords in your, in your page. And if you have too many, it'll tell you how many to remove, and so on and so forth. So those are some really quick, basic things you can do to start getting your site optimized. And you need to do this. I mean, really, before you set up a website, before you pay the money for a domain name, do a little research because otherwise you're just throwing money out the window and you may have to redesign your entire site later on. Um, another thing you want to do, especially for Google, is you want to start doing link exchanges. So you would contact similar sites, you know, sites with similar contacts, content and you would email them and say let's do a link exchange and you would put their link on your site and they would put your link on theirs. Not everyone's going to agree but the more that you do the better it is for you, especially targeted. You don't want just anybody linking to you because Google will penalize you for this. You want targeted sites linking to you and you want sites that have a higher uh, Google ranking and if you go online again there are free tools that will tell you the Google rankings of different sites. So look for sites that are similar to what you're offering and have a high Google ranking. All right, that's it for today. This is Katerina Christakos from strategicinternetmarketingassociates.com. Um, come to the site. There's more tips there, and I will be back again tomorrow with another video clip for you. Have a fantastic day, and I will talk to you soon.